Hello viewers, this is Too Fast here. Now a couple of months ago I showed you a street light that I installed on my house. And it still works, it works great, but it lacks some features I wish it had. I wish it had a motion sensor to turn on only when motion is detected. Also it has a large solar panel that's separate from the light, so it's a very bulky unit and it doesn't look very nice. Now in today's video I'll be replacing it with a brand new street light that has all those features. But before I show you that new one, let me show you the one I have right now. Here's a look at the street light that I currently have. As you can see, it has a large solar panel above the street light. Now it's not on right now, but it will turn on when it gets dark. Here's a look at the light at night when it's on. Now this street light you're looking at is made by the company Kingi and it's a model YT200-2. It's rated as a 200 watt solar panel street light. These are brackets that come with this light. Remote control and the batteries. And this street light itself. As you can see, the solar panels on the top side. If you flip it around, right here, it's the LED module and right here is the infrared sensor and the on-off switch. So let's go over some of the spec on the street light. The entire body you see here is waterproof, is IP65 rated. Right here is the LED panel. There are a total of 384 LED chips. The LED chip you see here is the 2835 LED chips. Together it has a maximum brightness of 4000 lumens. That's about 90 to 110 lumen per watt. And it can illuminate up to 3229 square feet lighting area. On the right side is a passive infrared sensor. Now this street light will automatically turn on at dusk and turn off at dawn. Now when it's turned on, it's only outputting 30% brightness. When the passive infrared sensor detects motion, then the street light will change to 100% brightness. This is one very important feature that my old street light didn't have. With the old one, it will automatically turn on at dusk and turn off at dawn, but always output 100% brightness. Now next to infrared sensor, there's on off switch right here. Press a button to turn the street light on. Let me turn this around. Here you're looking at the top side of a street light. So with this design, you don't have the bulkiness of an external solar panel. Everything is integrated in one unit. Now if you have direct sunlight hitting this solar panel, it will take about 8 to 10 hours to charge an internal battery. And once the battery is fully charged, it can power the street light for 15 to 18 hours continuously. Now don't forget it also comes with a remote control, so you can use this to control the light. If you press the on off button, it will turn on the light. You can also adjust the brightness. Right now it's maximum brightness. You can dim it. To remove the old street light is very simple. I have my ladder set up here. I'll first remove the solar panel, then the street light itself, and then the metal post that's held in by four bolts. Once I remove those bolts, the whole thing will come out. Disconnect the wire to the solar panel. And then loosen these two bolts that's holding down the solar panel. With the two bolts loosened, now you can lift the solar panel off. Loosen the four Allen bolts. Now carefully slide this out. Now looking at the new bracket and the old bracket, the size is different. So I will have to drill new holes and then mount the new one. First I need to remove the old one. Installation is very simple. It comes with this metal post. Install this post onto your wall and then insert the street light onto this end right here. Once you have the street light on the post, then tighten these four nuts to secure it. So here I'm installing the new mounts. I just have to drill two new holes at the bottom here and then install the screws. Let me just give you a side-by-side -side look of the old one on the left side and the new one on the right side here. The overall length of the new one is longer, but it's very thin compared to this one here. Just carefully slide this onto the metal post and then tighten the four nuts at the top. Here's a look at the installed lights.
Don't forget to turn it on. Here's a look at the installed street light. Now the street light will turn on automatically at dusk, but if you want, you can use a remote control to manually turn it on. Press the on off button, and it'll turn on. Press it again to turn it off. Let me go over the various function of the remote control. At the very top are the two on off buttons. Now these two buttons will do the same thing. By pressing it, you can manually turn on and off. Below that, you have the brightness setting, brightness minus and brightness plus. Now there's also two more buttons here that'll do the same thing, brightness plus and brightness minus. In the middle is a radar button. If you press this, then it'll activate the motion sensor. You also have the two auto buttons right here. If you press the auto button, then it'll stay at maximum brightness. In the middle, you have the two hour, three hour, and four hour maximum brightness timer. If you press any one of these buttons, then the light will stay on at the maximum brightness for this time period. Here's a look at the light at night. Now when there's no motion detected, the brightness is only at 30%. Once it detects motion, it'll go to full brightness for 15 seconds, and then it'll go back to dim mode. Now I can tell you after testing this for a couple of days, the passive infrared sensor is very sensitive, which is a very good thing. Because if you're using this light for security reasons, you want to make sure it's able to sense the presence of a person and illuminate the area very well. Another thing I noticed is this light is much more brighter than the last one I had. Overall, I'm very happy with the performance of this new solar light. It's a lot better than the old one I had. Besides being able to illuminate a large area very well, with the motion sensor and auto dimming, you can also use this as a security light. Being a solar unit, you can install this anywhere outside your home or business, and it does not require you to run any power wire to the light, which makes installation very easy. Now, this solar light retails for $100, and there's a $20 off coupon below the price. If you check that, it'll bring the price down to $80, which is a great price. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.